For eons, ancient man would have looked up to the sky and wondered what was up there. Fast forward to the modern day, and various missions have been carried out by different space agencies, helping us to understand our place in the universe. Although it's fair to say we know very little about the universe and the space around us, astronomers and scientists have done a great job at mapping certain areas. Some of the places that we study are those of moons and planets around us, with scientists saying that every year we discover something new about them. In recent years there's been a special interest in the dark side of the moon. This popular term refers to the fact that the same physical half of the moon is always facing Earth, which in turn means that there's a dark side. This side, however, has been at the center of many claims, most of which include that there's either bases or strange things going on there. One idea is that on this side of the moon humans have managed to build large outposts, and one of the reasons they did this is due to the fact that this part of the moon is always facing away from Earth, meaning they could carry out whatever they wanted without getting caught. It's important to note that space agencies like NASA have denied these claims, and said that there's no outposts or secret bases on the far side of the moon. This hasn't stopped people looking through the limited footage and photographs of the dark side of the moon, in the hopes of finding something of interest. I was sent this image by someone a while back. They said they were looking through old images of the moon, some of which included the dark side, and said that they noticed a strange object in one of them. They said that the image stood out because it clearly shows what looks like a large triangle object, further saying that whatever this thing is it appears to be hovering above the moon, as a shadow can be seen being casted. The woman said the following, I am a member of the Australian UFO Society, and a few people said that I spotted something interesting. Most of the time these types of objects can be seen embedded within the moon rock, and these can be hard to make out. But in my opinion, this photograph shows something large hovering above the moon. I have no idea what it is, but I thought I'd share it. End quote. This isn't the first time that strange objects have been seen close to our moon. In fact, during some of the Apollo missions, online users have said that when you zoom into the backdrop of space, you're able to see several unidentified flying objects in the background, almost as if they're watching the astronauts on the moon, with some users saying that the images are kind of eerie. It's these types of photographs that have caused some to think that the moon is a hotspot for unidentified flying objects. NASA have said that these are nothing of interest, and that when these images are taken they sometimes get distorted or show anomalies and that these can sometimes look like UFOs. Although NASA have said that some of them are impressive, they've said that no further comments should be made about them as they show nothing of interest. As you can imagine though, not everyone believes this, with some UFO researchers saying that something is happening on the moon that we're not being told about. Another interesting story involving the dark side of the moon is that of Carl Wolf. Former US Air Force Sergeant Cole Wolf is perhaps best known for saying that he saw photographs of a base on the moon. Cole worked at Tactical Air Force Command at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia during the 1960s, and is thought to have been involved in projects that were classified. He was recently involved in a bike crash from which he didn't survive. Cole had made the incredible claims back in 2001 and stated that the photographs he saw proved that extraterrestrial structures were on the far side of the moon. Going back, he worked as a photograph surveillance technician. This meant he worked with the machines that process video footage. He claims, however, on one particular occasion he was asked to review some photographs. When he looked, he could see they were taken during a recent lunar mission. While there, another employee asked him to take a look at another photograph. These were the ones that showed a mysterious base on the moon. Cole said the following about the incident. He pulled out one of these mosaics, and showed this base which had geometric shapes. 
There were towers, there were spherical buildings. There were very tall towers and things that looked like radar dishes. But there were very large structures. End quote. After seeing these photographs, he thought that the discovery was going to be featured on the news. However, he soon realised the news never broke. He then thought the discovery had been covered up. Wolf said on one occasion he was taken into a dark room, where they put together images to create mosaics. He said the following. They were doing 35mm strips of film at the time, which were then assembled into 185 by 11 mosaics. Those strips were from successive passes around the moon, and they would build up a photograph. We walked over to one side of the lab and he said, by the way, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. At that point I became terrified, thinking to myself that if anybody walks in the room I'd know we'd be in jeopardy, because he's given me information he shouldn't. Then he pulled out one of his mosaics and showed me this base which had geometric shapes. End quote. As of right now, NASA have denied that any of these claims are true saying that they are honest about every photograph that's taken, and that people are looking too deep into these images. So what do you make of this interesting photograph? Do you think it shows an object hovering above our moon? Or is this a case of pareidolia, where our minds are playing tricks on us? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.